Alright, bonjour. Alright, um, Ojo Hui, not some mess, Judy. <laughs> and, uh, Satun Journey Solie, Satun Journey Noeja. What else? What else? No. No, it's super bright. Okay, so I went out and ran some errands today. Uh, most of my errands are done, which is great. And also, probably, do I want to visit Toys R Us just for fun later? Right? Uh, also, I did my game development and stuff, so yeah, chill for a while. Wanted to go out and eat in Tim Hortons or McDonald's, but decided, nah. Five dollars. Yeah, we can talk a little bit about food, food and budgeting. Like, why some of the budget I can go super low? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, back to one of the most important, not important, important topic, but one of the most important thing that I want to, like, down the line. I wish I can. Uh, not say I wish. I'm preparing to do so, which is living the sea life. Maybe. Not really sea life. But then again, no, there's, there's a few there's a few things I need to leave. I, I need to answer a few questions first before I can do that. Because if I live on a sea life, that means what about my apartment? Do I rent out an apartment? Do I stay full time on a boat? Do I stay full time on a boat on a marina? A, a lot of things. Uh, a lot of things has to be answered. Because they, I've seen some uh, sailing videos and they didn't not to say they didn't put the cost there they did say up front of the cost but it's different when you are doing real world application because i can break down every single cost in fact i've break down every single daily cost not not daily cost monthly cost for my lifestyle ish and again is it applicable everywhere it's a little bit different from people to people that's why it's more of a guideline and then from there you just adjust a little bit here and there and of course uh, one of the biggest thing uh, for me like some people can can just straight up live on a boat live on an rv full time for me yeah it's it's, it's a different journey so obviously i need to start first then only i can have uh, the numbers if not yeah it's gonna be tough but like I said, the, the numbers will not lie. I need at least a hundred thousand for the boat because I'm not going to buy. Uh, the thing is, I'm not going to buy a boat too cheap, but I'm going to buy an expensive boat. So the ballpark is around, give or take, uh, easily I would say on the fifty to sixty thousand dollar mark. Sure, it will go up and down, and then if I can, if I can maintain a 10k maintenance fee because at the same time I need to come marina and whatnot so at the end of the day it's gonna be different it's 100% gonna be different in terms of the money because let's say the marina is about uh, I don't know some people say it's about $500 but that is, that is uh, depending on what type of marina you're going for thousand dollars again what is the condition are you paying a thousand dollar for a flat rate fee one year or does it comes with extra charges like electricity and whatnot leave a board fee yeah those are things i don't have the numbers but uh, if i do have right now on head just to give you a tease a hundred thousand dollars for a boat a hundred thousand yeah hundred thousand for, for a boat plus maintenance plus whatnot all right it's, it's going to be there and then every year, I might need to put in about 10 to 20 grand as a floater. No, I can't use 10 to 20 grand. 10 to 20 grand is too much. I'm gonna use $500, so six, about six grand, okay. $500 a month, a month. Because if I'm paying 20 grand a year, then I might as well just rent. Yeah, right? Yeah, no, no. If, if I'm paying, if I'm paying more than ten thousand dollars a year in maintenance, 
right? Uh, not not overhaul maintenance like like every year without fail. I need to spend if I need to spend ten grand a year, I think it's okay. Under ten, sorry, under ten, over ten to twenty grand, then I would say, yeah, I might as well just rent a cheap cheap place again. Note note to shelf is that it's uh, because uh, right now I'm paying twenty four thousand, right plus bills and. Uh, minus the food, okay. The main reason I'm gonna minus the food first basically utilities plus rent 24,000. If we can cut that by half, fantastic. That means $12,000 is our benchmark or our goal for yearly maintenance fee plus everything. That means marina, insurance, everything, including the internet. Uh, yeah, and then. On top of that, I have to plus a hundred thousand. But then again, if we compare to, if we bought buy a house, uh -huh, so if I buy a house, I still need to pay below twenty four k. So basically, monthly fee I need to I need to be at least below what I'm renting right now to justify a boat life. Hey. <laughs> Basically, lots and lots of calculation is needed. So again, this is just a tease. Nothing is set in stone. Need to do go through. Need to go through all the process. And uh, obviously, priority number one: get a job. Because I've seen. Because see, if you can squeeze down. No, I, I'm going to explain why I like this RV uh, boat thingy. Boat more, more, more than RV. Yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's actually very, very enticing. But at the same time, it's a whole different lifestyle. A whole different lifestyle. Which one on one end, I need to do at least one. Once in my lifetime. Maybe a year. Okay, a year in total. Maybe by season, right? Two summer seasons. One summer season. Uh, one summer season is bad. No, no. We don't do more than that. Anyway, I'll do Tyler first. Late, actually not that late. I want to go Toys R Us, but at the end of the day, yeah, yeah, save money, save money. Yeah, that's how I put it. Every time you want to buy something, just think a lot, and probably I'll just put it here. Uh, like not say tips, but um, things that helps you control a little bit. I'm not so sure. If I've said this before, but usually what I do is uh, uh, if it's something that I really need, okay, then then it's it's uh no even things that I really need. So I just put it on hold. Like, do I need it now? Uh, only certain devices that I'll buy straight away, like replacement. It's more of a replacement rather than a want. For example, if I need a laptop to work or I need a computer to work, that's a no-brainer. Just buy and get on with it. Okay. Uh, same goes with a phone. If I, uh, if I have a f if I don't have a phone and I need one, get on with it. Now I got too many phones, which is good, which is good. The only difference is a lot of them are useless. <laughs> oh, actually, I need to bring some of my old phones over here. My simple phones, yeah, uh, because one of it I can immediately replace. Okay, you know what? Partially, I wanted an iPhone. I want an iPhone because of its LiDAR uh, camera but then I realized that I can get it on the iPad Pro but still I can't buy any of these devices because do I really need them? I don't. And by saying this, okay, or rather because of this, um, my laptop, okay, so my first laptop that I have gotten uh, for an ex no wow my first laptop that i buy with my own hard-earned cash 13 years it's 13 years already and it's still working 13 years already yeah i even bought some for my parents but uh of course i bought okay so technically i bought those earlier on yeah i gave to my parents but um, the one that i've been carrying the one that i had 
my first official one that I used to uh, to an, to a certain cap it to a certain capacity. In fact, it's a daily. It, it was almost a daily driver at one point of time. Thirteen years already. No, that's good. That's great. That's why I love uh, taking care of your hardware and, and stretch it out as long as you can. Wow, battery just stopped halfway. That's not good. That's wow, GoPro, something is up with you. I wanted to replace you, but you know what? You still serve it. You still serve a purpose. I'm not gonna replace just yet. Okay, anyway, tomorrow we're gonna do financial recap. It's supposed to do every week. Ah, I'm done. I'm done. GoPro's acting up a little bit. Plus, running out of storage space. Je du very de main.